What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Schilling Beer Company, and they're out of Little Tin, New Hampshire, and this is their Old Mission. So they're calling this one a dry hopped pilsner that comes in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is just under two and a half months old, so we have another Schilling beer, and it is a dry hopped pilsner, which I haven't had from them before, and this one is dry hopped with Nelson Sauvin hops. It sounds pretty good. I had a couple uh, friends recommend this one to me, so I'm pumped up to give it a go. Now, I don't know what the base uh, you know, Pilsner is, if it's a German or Czech style Pilsner, but considering it's dry hopped with Nelson Salvan hops, I'm imagining that it really doesn't matter because it's not truly to a style. Also, this might be unfiltered to some degree uh, because this does have a haziness to it that a lot of the uh, Schilling beers I've had in the past do not have. Although I think it was their Italian style Pilsner definitely had a uh, haze to it. And this one is quite hazy. This looks kind of like a hazy IPA to some degree. Maybe not as murky, but I've seen hazy IPAs that look like that. So this is a dry hot Pilsner. I can see like the shadow of my hand, cannot see my hand through. It has that beautiful like really glowing yellow color, but again, very hazy, very fine particulates. Had about a half finger of a white head that is kind of dissipated to a uh, thin film, but it's still there and kicking. So yeah, it plays the role of, I guess, a dry hop pilsner. I guess we'll see, let's get a nose. That smells awesome. <laughs> oh. So with Nelson, I, you know, I was thinking white grapes, white wine, gooseberries. I am getting a little bit of that, uh, you know, sweeter white grape or like a crisp white grape in the nose, but there is uh, like a like a melon. There's a, there's a substantial like tropical character, maybe like kiwi, passion fruit. There's a, there's a little bit more going on to this one uh, than normally I get from a Nelson. It's usually just white grapes for me mostly. Sometimes a gooseberry kind of pops in. It has a more of a crackery, more so than bready um, malt base. That's really nice. <sighs> Slight floral kind of hop uh, note. Yeah, I'd say it's floral. Maybe a little spicy. It's making my mouth water. Um, it, it's actually, I, I'm hoping that this is in the realm of something like a Genesee um, dry hop cream ale or their mosaic dry hop cream ale where, you know, you know the base is a lighter, uh, in th this case, a lager, but in that realm where it's like, this is gonna be crushable, but it's gonna have a little bit of like a hop flavor to it that is not typical of the style. And that's what I'm hoping for, so let's see. Cheers, everyone. exactly what it is that's a really nice so the body on this one is it's actually nice for five and a half it's like lower side of medium or maybe full right on straight on medium a little bit bigger um the mouthfeel it's crisp it's clean it's refreshing it's exactly what you want from the style but the actual taste it's kind of like you took a, a very well-made german or czech style pilsner and you gave it a little bit of hop, hop character in the form of Nelson. That's exactly what this is. Right up front, that crackery malt hits, dives underneath the palate. Right after that, I get a little bit of citrus. I wasn't getting that in the nose. It's a little bit of grapefruit and orange, more of like the rind than anything else. As it passes through, the white grapes hit from the Nelson, but it's not like substantial. It's not like over the top. It's again, more of a crisp white grape. It's not like super sweet. It's a little bit of that uh, underripe and honeydew melon. I say maybe a touch of like a kiwi or a passion fruit, different tropical fruits that I don't normally get, and even hop forward, um, you know, IPAs and double IPAs and whatnot. On the finish, this finish is semi to full on dry with a approaching moderate bitterness. So what I like about this beer is that the Nelson is giving you all that great fruity character, but being that it's dry hopped as well, and maybe just maybe it's a little bit uh, more hopped in general, but I don't think the base of this is specifically a German or Czech style Pilsner. But even if it is, I just think it's a little bit more hop for it because again, I'm getting a little bit like of a, a floral, almost slightly resinous hop tone on the back of the palate. It's more, it's between mild to moderate in terms of bitterness, but more approaching moderate. 5.5, so easy to drink. In fact, this drinks like six and a half, seven from a, a body and like just flavor standpoint. This this has way more flavor than something, you know, you would get in the five and a half percent realm, at least in my experience. It's just really good. This is a really, I, I understand why my friends enjoy this one. And I'm not gonna drink any more. I wanna drink the rest off cam and enjoy it. Um, this is good. Is it the best shilling I've had? No. 
Is it a fun beer? Yes. Is it something different, especially from Schilling? Schilling does so many crazy, you know, old world style beers that maybe you haven't heard of. And even myself, I've, there's quite a few that I'm like, wow, I've never heard of that before. That sounds cool. But this is just a dry hot Pilsner, but done extremely well. And I'm really digging it. So Old Mission, a dry hot Pilsner from Schilling. Rating wise on this, I'm going to go low 425 out of five. I'm going to go 4.2 out of five. That's where this one lands for me. This is, this is what I'm feeling. It's just, it has everything I kind of want from a hop forward uh, dry hot Pilsner. Again, it has a nice, uh, almost approaching moderate bitterness. It's not, um, you know, too much. Uh, the Nelson's kind of shining this one, and I just enjoy it. So, uh, price point availability. I paid three ninety nine for that can. I think four packs were fourteen ninety nine a four pack. I think at the brewery you're probably talking sixteen bucks a four pack. A little bit expensive. Shilling is always a bit expensive, especially when they make distro. A lot of their beers are like four four and a half dollars a can, and that is pricey for some, including myself. But I do know they make quality beer, so I don't mind picking them up occasionally and reviewing, like I have been over the past year. Um, so again, if you like dry hopped uh, lagers of any sort, like pick this one. Up, I think you'd be happy with it. And uh, availability, I don't know with Schilling, probably like a, I would say eight to different states, uh, eight to different, eight to 10 different states. They, maybe not on these cans, but a lot of times they'll have like the recycling and, and list the different states. But I know Schilling gets a decent distro, especially if you're in the Northeast. So if you see their stuff on the shelves, pick it up and uh, grab it because they make some great beers, a lot of lagers, but they're done extremely well. I cannot recommend them enough. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section, let me know what you thought about it. I think they did a great job representing not only a Pilsner, but also the Nelson Dry Hop. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this one off camera. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.